Welcome back. This is the new novel, The Perfect Stranger, from Megan Miranda, the author of New York Times bestseller, All the Missing Girls. Yeah, Publishers Weekly says The Perfect Stranger is an irresistible and riveting page turner. That's high praise, I'd say. And we are here now with Megan because she has a book signing in Milwaukee that's happening tomorrow night. We'll give you details about that in just a second. Great to meet you. Thanks so much for having me. It's yeah. Really nice to meet you both. Thanks yeah, for being nice here. During the you. commercial break, Denise and I were grilling you about, is that your real name, yes. Megan Miranda? Because it sounds like such a catchy, cool name yep. for an author. Yes. Sounds like a made up name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is. It's my real name. I married into it. It's okay. my husband's last name. Other people ask you that? Yes, a lot. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> so now, The Perfect Stranger is your new book. It's getting a lot of good buzz. Yes, it has. I've been very excited, and I've loved meeting readers this week as well. Tell us a little bit about the plot, what happens sure. in the book. Don't give it away too okay. much, but yeah. So it's about two women who reconnect years after they were roommates in their early 20s. Um, and they haven't seen each other for eight years when they randomly meet again in a bar in Boston. And at this point, they're both in desperate need of a fresh start. So Emmy is looking to escape a relationship gone bad, and Leah is looking to escape the fallout of a work scandal. So they decide to move away together to Western Pennsylvania for a fresh start. Um, but when Emmy goes missing, there was no evidence she was ever there to begin with. Whoa, I mm -hmm. like that. I'm going on vacation soon. I'm thinking I might need to take this book <laughs> with me because it sounds like such a great read. It, w one of the things I find interesting about your book, mm -hmm. uh, among other things, is the, the title yeah. um, and the, 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 the cover of the book. And I wonder how much attention mm -hmm. that gets from an author because even the, the paper of the book yeah. is it has some texture to it and is very, I would think that people see it on a shelf and that's the idea is they want to pick it up. Right, yeah, and I, I absolutely love my covers and my titles. And um, there's a design department at the publisher who puts it together and they pull on sort of a central image from the book. Um, the title becomes a conversation between us. What's the right title for the book? What does it evoke? Does it sound like a psychological thriller? And in this case, it also gets the fact of is Emmy um, a perfect stranger to Leah after all this time. She discovers things and she's not really sure if she was who she thought she was. Um, I love that they picked the house to put on the cover. I was going to ask what the picture on the cover yeah, was. So it's mm -hmm. the house in the book and it's this cabin in the woods um, and it's based on a place from my own memory. My grandparents had this cabin in the woods in the Poconos and we used to go there on family vacations and it was this really idyllic setting and we were in the woods and we went there and there was no phone line and this was before cell phones. Um, and at night, the same beautiful setting could turn really eerie and creepy because you're alone in the middle oh, of the woods. Oh, I bet. Um, yeah. And there's no cell phones and no phone. And so I wanted to sort of have that same feel in the book, a place that can feel like a fresh start, but then turn it turns creepy ominous. Well. Cool. Yes. Yes. So this is a follow-up to All the Missing Girls, which did also, it was compared to Girl on the Train, right? It did very well. Otherwise, before that, you wrote Young Adult, and then you transitioned with those two books into Adult. Yes. So why did you decide to transition and what is it like? Is it, tell us how different it is to write yeah. for young adult to adult. Sure, so I started, um, before I wrote young adult fiction, I was a high school science teacher as well. No. -uh. So, yeah, so I think I was cool. sort of hearing their stories and I was reading young adult fiction and also psychological suspense. I like to read both genres. Um, and when I got the idea for All the Missing Girls, um, it felt like it was the idea that needed hindsight to it where it's, about an event that happened when the kids, when the, the main characters were teenagers, but now it's 10 years later and looking back at that time. So it felt like the right story to become an adult thriller instead. Okay. And are you no longer teaching? No, I'm okay, not. Okay, so you no. do this, you do writing full time? I do time. write full time. I'm always yeah. fascinated about when authors write. Is there always a certain time of day and do you, do you have to be very disciplined to make time to, to do the writing? Yes, I do. I have very structured hours, but it sort of transitioned over time. When I started writing, my kids were very young, um, and so I only wrote at night when they were in bed asleep. Um, and then I started writing during preschool hours, and now I write pretty much every day from 9 to 3 when they're in school. Um, and I keep those hours to kind of keep myself on track wow, as well. Wow, 9 what's, to 3. What's easier, to write for young adult or adult? I'd say they're just very different in their own way. And one with is young adult, don't you need to be more cautious about the content and 
you know? You know, I, I think it really depends on what fits the story okay. and what's right for the mm -hmm. story. And, and it's more about filtering the perspective through a young adult narrator versus an adult narrator. Um, so they both have their own challenges. What's next for you? Um, so after The Perfect Stranger, I have another psychological thriller that should be coming out next summer. It doesn't have um, a final title yet. And okay. I also have another young adult book coming out in January. All That's written wonderful. already? Or just yes. uh, is it up here? Um, the young adult book is done. <laughs> um, I'm almost done with the next uh, adult book. That's yes. super neat. I love it. All right, you, the book signing that we mentioned earlier is happening right here in town. It's tomorrow night at 7, a chance for people to meet you, Megan, and also get a copy of your book at Boswell Books. It's on North Downer Avenue in Milwaukee again tomorrow, 7 p.m. You can also go to her website. It's MeganMiranda.com to find out more about The Perfect Stranger and the other books that she has written and is working on. Great to meet you. Thank you, Thank you Thank so you. much for having yeah, me. Yeah, we appreciate it.